did talk to my kids about it. Um, my daughter is 12 and my son is 14. So I think they're kind of old enough to understand it. Their main question was, you know, what is it going to look like, you know, and, um, um, I just explain it to my daughter that, um, right now that, you know, I'm not happy with the way, um, my breasts look. Um, when I had my surgery, I had them done and they were, um, I would say too big for my body. You know, I was younger and, um, so I, I explained to her, I was like, you know, sometimes, you know, we feel like people are looking at mom, you know, in kind of a weird way. And I said, I just don't want that anymore. I want to be able to go places with you and wear something, you know, like everybody else would and not, um, feel like everybody's staring at your, your mom's chest. So they're both extremely happy about it. <laughs> My patients with young children really don't tell their children much about surgery. They say mommy has a boo-boo and tell the baby that either daddy or grandma or the babysitter will be helping take care of them for the first few weeks and then things go back to normal pretty quickly and most of the time kids don't even remember. Parents with older children may actually feel comfortable discussing the surgery, especially if they have teenage daughters who reasonably could be expected to need these procedures someday themselves. Most parents take an approach somewhere in between and say that mommy needs surgery and she'll be recovering for a while and just leave the specifics of it to imagination.